So I just want to make sure I'm not misunderstanding what you're saying. I don't think that I am. I think you're saying you want a negotiated settlement to what's happening in Ukraine. <laughs> right. And we made it. We prepared a huge document in Istanbul that was initialed by the head of the Ukrainian delegation. He affixed his signature to some of the provisions, not to all of it. He put his signature and then he himself said, we were ready to sign it and the war would have been over long ago, 18 months ago. However, Prime Minister Johnson came, talked us out of it, and we missed that chance. Well, you missed it, you made a mistake, let them get back to that, that is all. Why do we have to bother ourselves and correct somebody else's mistakes? I know one can say it is our mistake. It was us who intensified the situation and decided to put an end to the war that started in 2014 in Donbass. As I have already said, by means of weapons. Let me get back to furthering history. I already told you this. We were just discussing it. Let us go back to 1991, when we were promised that NATO would not expand, to 2008, when the doors to NATO opened to the declaration of state sovereignty of Ukraine, declaring Ukraine a neutral state. Let us go back to the fact that NATO and US military bases started to appear on the territory of Ukraine, creating threats to us. Let us go back to coup d'etat in Ukraine in 2014. It is pointless though, isn't it? We may go back and forth endlessly, but they stop negotiations. Is it a mistake? Yes. Correct it. We are ready. Negotiating conflicts involves adept diplomacy and consensus building to prioritize stability and peaceful resolutions over military actions. Examining Vladimir Putin's statements raises questions about the authenticity of his acknowledgement of complexity or strategic narrative shaping. Authenticity holds significance in understanding actions and choices, prompting criticism for missed negotiation opportunities and perpetuating hostilities. Pursuing national interests through diplomatic means adds complexity to the discourse. Evaluating Putin's decision-making involves assessing remarks on missed opportunities and negotiation preparations, exploring individual responsibility and collective outcomes. Public concerns focus on Putin's stance on NATO expansion, commentary on historical events like Ukraine's declaration of state sovereignty, and the implications of geopolitical decisions requiring a cautious international relations approach. Putin's remarks may reflect the cyclical nature of historical conflicts, highlighting the challenge of breaking away from recurring patterns and navigating persistent problems.